What's up guys, Sarah Drake here, and welcome to another vlog with yours truly. Now I know I haven't done a lot of these um, update vlog things in a while, and I apologize for that. I've been busy with other stuff. Went really weird with my lisp. I haven't had a lisp like that in oh, years. Ugh, I hope it doesn't come back. Anyhow, so I've had a few things happen lately um, that I haven't really talked about. Um, I might have mentioned it once or twice, um, but I really didn't want to say much, but now I can say stuff. Okay, so if any of you know what this is, this is a Seagate backup external one terabyte hard drive. Now Seagate makes amazing hard drives. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form, by the way. Uh, this is a rant against them. Now, I bought this brand new God, like two, three months ago. It's not that old. Last month, it crashed on me. I had only had this for two months and it had this issue. So what happened was it lost its table of contents. All, all of these things have, I don't know what the technical term is, but it's kind of like a table of contents where it shows all your data, what you have, blah, 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 that kind of thing. Um, it lost it. It somehow got deleted. So although the data is still there, there's just no way to retrieve it. So I had to take it in um, near the end of last month and try to see if they can do a data recovery. Well, the little um, place that we have up here, we don't have a lot of options when it comes to getting your tech fixed. Um, I went to a place called Geek City, not sponsored by them as well. Great people, I love them. I get a lot of my tech stuff from them, but they weren't able to get anything and they did everything they could. The only thing that they couldn't do was literally take it apart in what's called a clean room, which is something that has like hospital stuff, hospital um, sized air conditioning and filtration systems and you wear like an entire body suit. You can't even breathe on the stuff. And what they do is they take this whole thing apart and they, they really get into it and that's how they get the data because they're able to get directly into the thing. They're able to do a bunch of computer stuff. They're able to take all the parts they need out of it, put it into their system and be able to retrieve it that way. I called them because Geek City, the place here, um, they referred me to them and they gave me a pamphlet. They said, you know, use our code, you get 10% off, but if you're military, you get 20% off. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. That sounds great. I called them. Holy shit, they're expensive. Okay, so for one thing, I, and I told him exactly what's wrong. I told him, look, the table of contents somehow deleted itself, so I can't get any of the data. The data's still there, it just cannot be retrieved. I need a quote, and of course they give you quotes. You know, they don't just automatically do the stuff without telling you how much it's gonna cost. Um, they give you a quote, tell you how much it is, and then you kind of work from there. Now, it, cost, it can cost you know, as little as, as little as seven hundred dollars and as much as twenty four hundred dollars. What? what? You don't just say something like that over the phone. And the only way for them to know exactly how much it's going to cost, they have to. I have to send it to them. I have to. And unfortunately, living in Alaska, you can't overnight. It. It's a two day thing. So I have to pay for shipping as well. And two day shipping here in Alaska is fucking expensive as all. Hell! So, and plus, it would have to be in a special packaging because this thing can get damaged easily, and it's so damaged enough as it is. And it's just, it's, it's a bloody, night. it's a fucking nightmare. I have two options. I either a send it into them for them to diagnose it, and then have them call me back and give me, tell me how much it's going to cost, and then me work with them. Or B, I just buy a new one for about a tenth of what it's going to cost. What option do you think I'm gonna fucking take? A military! I don't have the kind of money just laying around- Oh, you mean $700? Here we go! You don't do that! <laughs> oh, I'm so angry, you have no idea. I was so mad when I called them today. Um, I'm recording this Friday, by the way, so yesterday for you guys, uh, because they're the same as Saturday. I was so mad, and I normally don't do this, and I, I hate do this. I went to Burger King, and I bought a Whopper with, um, with, 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 what was it, with cheese and with bacon and I had a large fries and the only thing I bounced it out with was water um, and I just engulfed that shit and I feel absolutely horrible because I don't do that. Even when we order Pizza Hut or Domino's, I always get a salad for myself. I'm that kind of a person <laughs> because I'm trying to lose weight and I'm, I'm trying to be healthy and I'm trying to live a much more healthy life, especially with me 
always playing video games for you guys, you know, and doing covers and stuff, and always being on the computer, sitting down a lot, you know, I, I try to get out and exercise more, um, I've been trying to eat healthier and stuff like that, but today was just, oh, it was one of those days, oh, it just, it got, oh, it was just absolutely horrible, and I hate it, and I hate everything about it, but yeah, that's, that's my life. <laughs> also, if it looks like I'm wearing the same clothes in a lot of videos. It's because I am, because I'm going to be pre-recording a lot of videos. Mainly because the fairy has, not this coming week, but next week, the next coming week up, he's got that whole week off. And we're going to be just going on our house, just hitting it hard, getting rid of a bunch of stuff we don't want to take with us to Texas, fixing things up, just kind of doing what we need to do so that housing doesn't hit us as hard because we have kids. All our carpets are gonna have to be like re redone. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, some holes are gonna have to be fixed. It's just one thing after another. Um, so we're gonna spend a whole week doing that. So I'm trying to get ahead and record as many videos as I can for it, um, which means I'm gonna be recording three or four videos a night and editing, you know, hopefully two or three of them at a time. The thumbnails are gonna take forever. My week's completely and utterly like crashed this next week. Um, it's it's so booked, it's not funny. That's gonna be going on. Um, I'm actually really excited. You know, I'm excited to, I, I do love Alaska, don't get me wrong. Very nice people. There's not a whole lot to do where we live in Fairbanks, but I mean, I've been to Anchorage and it's a very nice town. It's a very nice city, in my opinion. It's, it's no Seattle or it's no, Tacoma, but it's still very nice and very large and there is still a lot to do there I, I think if you get a vacation anywhere definitely go to Anchorage. I've never been to Juneau So I can't say whether Juneau Jesus Christ <laughs> I can't say whether Juneau is a good idea to go or not um, Never got the chance to go, but then again, we weren't sure if we ever would uh, just because we have to go through Canada to get to Juneau and then we have to get past. it's just, it's a whole, and we just don't want to deal with it. But yeah, it's, it's nice, and we love it, and, but it's just, it's too rural where we live, you know, we're used to living in Seattle, we're used to living in Tacoma, we're used to going to Olympia, and to Bellevue, and to being able to go to my grandfather, my grandmother now, I guess, I know that my grandfather died last year, um, going to my grandmother's cabin up in the Cascade Mountains, and being able to visit Leavenworth, which is like this German... Um, Belgian town that because um, technically Washington was founded by Germans I and mean, it's kind of like kind of a German thing so yeah that's kind of what yeah so it's a nice place but it's just too rural for us so I'm really excited to be moving to Texas you know if it's 30 miles away from um, Austin and I've always wanted to go to Austin it just seemed like such an amazing place to go to and I, I for me it's kind of like well it's the same issue when we lived in Washington because when we looked in Fort Lewis we were 30 miles away from Seattle we were just a freeway up ahead say so it's almost the exact same thing living in Fort Hood going down to Austin so it's really really nice for us um it's kind of I guess the western version of being home but yeah so long story short I got a lot of work I'm doing um in two weeks this fucker is just making my life a living hell. I have over 250 gigs worth of data. That is YouTube videos and thumbnails and music. All of it's gone because I refuse to pay $700 for something I could replace for 80 bucks. You take a wild guess as to what I'm going to do. So yeah, that's that's kind of where I am. Um, I know this video isn't what you were expecting. You are probably expecting another Let's Play. There will be another one coming out either later today or tomorrow on Sunday. I'm trying to talk, you know, in, in the futuristic because you're watching this now. Um, so either today, Saturday, um, it will come out later or it will come out Sunday. I haven't quite decided yet. Being that it's 10.02 p.m. Um, on a Friday and all I've got on my plate right now if I decide not to record uh, the video is I have wine and I have YouTube on my 360 and more gaming on my laptop just again because I don't really game for myself very much anymore. I used to do that a lot before I did YouTube and even when I first started YouTube when I didn't do my gaming videos uh, for that first like month or two I did a lot of gaming on my 360, I did a lot of gaming on the PS3 because I played a lot of um, Sly Cooper and Final Fantasy X-2 which is my favorite Final Fantasy. I know it's not the most popular but I fucking love it and I know it came out for the PC 
a little while ago, so I might actually buy it for the PC and play it for you guys if I can't get a uh, recording box uh, for my PS4 or my PS3 here soon. I haven't decided yet. Um, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna- there we go. We're just gonna sit down because I'm standing on my feet and it's starting to hurt. Um, you know, and I would like to do Dante's Inferno. I've always said that it's gonna be like my first playthrough console-wise because it's always been my absolute favorite game for some reason. I love it more than any Final Fantasy I've ever played. I love it more than Sly Cooper and Sly Cooper was my first adventure game to be on uh, on a console. You know, all the other games I ever played were P PlayStation, or not PlayStation, were PC games. So Sly Cooper always has a, a, heart, a deep part of my heart, and I don't know what it is about Dante's Inferno, but I just absolutely fucking love it. Uh, maybe because I've read the Divine Comedy and I can pick out the pieces like, ah, it's from the book! But only like 10% of it's from the book. 90% like of it is EA in their sick minds, and I just love it. But yeah, that's, that's all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching though. If you like this video, and I don't know why you'd like this video, it's just a vlog, hit that like button and subscribe for more of my videos, share with your friends and family, and be careful when buying Seagates. Uh, Seagates are supposed to be great external hard drives. They're, they're some of the best out on the market right now, and they're good. And it's very, very, very rare that brand new ones like this fail in the way that they have so new and so unused and it just I it's because I have horrible luck and because the universe hates me but again thank you guys so much as always I'm Sarah Strake and I love each and every one of you thank you to all my 38 subscribers for being there for me and for being there for each other because you guys are amazing and you guys are what make this channel and I will talk and play with you in the next episode bye bye I know what it feels like to grieve and to miss somebody so much. It just, it consumes you and it clouds you and you feel like that you're unable to let go. Um, because I've been through that and my family's been